Hello guys, welcome back to Sim UK and Fernbus Coach Simulator. Aren't things looking jolly good over here right now? I am so excited with all the modding kits that are coming and the news of uh, new maps coming and uh, modding for coaches as well. Wow, we are, we are in a really good position now. I've been waiting a long time. I knew this was coming. I knew this, this period would eventually arrive and yeah, it feels really good now. And I can see that you guys out there are getting a lot more interested and a bit more excited about the game and you wait till you start seeing some of these mods coming out i think things are going to be fantastic i am not much of a modder but i am working hard to uh learn the skills as it were and then uh, i'll be i'll be contributing guys don't you worry uh so today we're continuing our journey on tour of northern germany and this map is looking much better by the way look at this Far, far better. We've got lots of uh, rest points. Um, we've got traffic uh, situations. Traffic situations. Crikey Moses. Just fill in the uh, idiotic lack of correct terminology there because I'm just having one of those days, it seems. Rest stops and all sorts of things. The only thing we're really lacking now in terms of map and GPS control is the ability to set waypoints so that you could... Uh, for example, come down this road here that doesn't have any roadworks. Um, that would be fantastic. I'm looking forward to that. Hopefully that will come out sooner rather than later. And if modding tools continue to progress the way they have been, maybe somebody can figure out how to do that much sooner than later. But uh, yes, definitely improved. And incidentally, look at all this untapped grey area surrounding Germany here. This is all editable, guys, with the modding tools. So... Wow, I mean, so much cool stuff could be coming straight into your game for free without you having to do anything. This game could just explode into amazingness. Very excited. One thing I wanted to try today, because you noticed uh, in last week's episode, our uh, repaint changed from, what was it? What was it? Cotral. This is what we started with, uh, and it was my understanding that when you start a route with a, with a repaint, you're basically stuck with that repaint. I mean, it makes sense that you wouldn't be able to change it. But last week it did change, and I'm not sure why that was. So I thought today maybe you can change it if you select it here. So let's pick one and test it. Incidentally, guys, these are the uh, next set of repaints that are coming out. Uh, I think they're going to be DLC. I don't think they're going to be free. Don't quote me, I don't have confirmation on any of this. I don't know when they're coming out exactly. But this TML were very kind to uh, let me have a look at these and show you guys what's coming. Two for the Netherlands, two for Italy, two for France, one for the Alps. And uh, yeah, I think that's it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and get this one to work. Look at that. Um, yeah, I'm going to try and get this one to work. I don't know if it'll work. We'll see what happens. But ultimately, guys, these are all indications of the next set of map DLC that TML are going to be bringing to Flixbus. And I, for one, cannot wait for that, especially the Alps. I think that's going to look sensational. I'm really excited for it. So, yeah, let's give it a go and see if this even works. I've no idea, no idea if it will work. So here we are, guys. We are at Rostock which is where we left off last week, heading to Celine today, uh, where we will take a break. And then uh, that final massive jaunt down to Potsdam. We are running late. Uh, it's basically 11 o'clock. We're supposed to have left here at 20 past 10. So uh, yeah, we've got a lot of time to catch up. If you remember when early on, before we had that disastrous run, um, we were actually half an hour ahead of time, so I think it's feasible, especially with that Potsdam run, it's feasible to consider that, yes, quite possibly, we could catch that time up and actually arrive at our final destination on time. Probably we'll be late for Celine or Saline, uh, but hopefully I'll be able to catch a bit of time up. Now, one thing that does frustrate me a tad is this when you load um when you load a game up it doesn't load in the state that you were in 
And it does irritate me somewhat. Whoa, no, 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 no. Lift down. <laughs> uh, mm, that one, that one. Because you just have to go through and do all this. And uh, it's annoying because it's already done. Fuel is good. I think that's fuel, isn't it? Fuel is good. That's on. What are we forgetting? What's this? Not sure. Not sure. I haven't got time to figure it out. Uh, passengers monitor on. Lights on. That doesn't work. Make sure our passengers are happy. 22.5. I might just bump. Uh, no, 22.5. They seem quite happy with that. Again, my audio is coming through my speakers and not my headset. This is so frustrating. I've already reloaded the game once. Anyway, let's get the door open. It does work. You can change your uh, your paint even though you're already on a run. I did not know that. Well, knock me down with a feather. Look at that. Well, that's interesting. That means we can do different re repaints each week. Um, I had no idea you could do that. That's awesome, I think. I think I'm happy about that. Right, let's get up. Let's... Uh, walk forwards oh what is now going on why for can i not walk oh lordy 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 yep my steering wheel's not working oh man it would appear guys that i had completely and utterly forgotten to uh turn my steering wheel on turn the power on for my steering wheel so this kind of looks like it hasn't flipping registered oh nuts okay sorry guys i'm gonna have to quit out come back in do apologize okay guys sorry about that we'll uh we'll get the boat the boat we'll get the bus we'll get the bus set up nice and quick undo all of that stupidity that I just applied and it looks like our wheels working all good stuff right oh yeah I forgot about this I was meant to fix this wasn't I um, right I need to open the doors so the passengers can get their uh, equipment is that opening yeah good Let's go and get our one passenger. Hello, madam. Hello, madam. Sorry. <laughs> I hate to interrupt you. Hello. Salut. Uh, yes. Express checking. Thank you. Are you going to walk on the bus? No. You're going to do the magic. Right. We're not really not going to mess around because... Is that closing? Good. We're really not going to mess around because we do need to make up a lot of time. 40 minutes, in fact. It's going to be a, a quite quite a challenge. Make sure this door's closed. Indicator's on. Handbrake off. Try putting it in gear. There we go. Experienced bus driver here. This feels a little odd to me, I have to admit. Last night, uh, I joined up, actually joined up with Timo from TML and uh, and Alan Sherwood. And uh, in fact, Double X Doggy, uh, I can't remember the end of it, um, that. Uh, we all went on Euro Truck Sim and did a bit of driving. I say a bit of driving. It was epic. It was about three hours of driving. I drove all the way from Poland to Luxembourg, then all the way up to the top of Germany, and then uh, finally uh, almost all the way back to Poland again. It was an epic journey. 
I was so exhausted. But obviously driving long distance like that, I was using the gears. Whereas in Fernbus, it's all automatic. So talking about Fernbus, my goodness me, have things moved on or what? I knew this day was coming, guys. Did I ever doubt them? Did I ever doubt that TML would come through? Yes. <laughs> Sometimes I did think, well, are they going to be able to do this? Is this too big? Is it too much? Um, have they sort of coded themselves into too much of a corner that they won't be able to get out of? But thankfully, um, the guys over at TML super dedicated super super dedicated super hard working and they really really want to make this game as good as it can be they really do um, and I am so glad to see that modding is is now here because that totally unlocks the doors uh, one of the best things that ever happened to Euro Truck Simulator for example um, was the modding community they um, absolutely transformed that game and ATS as well uh, you've got the coast to coast um, map that was created by the modding community for ATS that's going down an absolute storm and quite rightly so many games many games are, are doing it this way and uh, farming sim for example Without mods, farming sim would just be unplayable. Or, or not unplayable, but you know, really badly lacking of any kind of fun. Nope, we're not going to Hamburg and Kiel. We are going to... Crikey, I've forgotten to press the... Oh, it does it itself. We're going to Celine, but I've just realised what else I haven't done, guys. And I kind of haven't done this almost week in, week out. Hello und God, that's frightening. Absolutely frightening. That was pretty scary. <laughs> that, that was a difficult bit of road to navigate from outside the coach there. So we'll wait for Chris to finish his chat, uh, his introduction for everybody. And then, uh, and then we'll talk about stuff. We'll talk about good stuff. Oh, traffic already, look. Road works, I mean. It seems I haven't set up my cruise control. I need to take a break? I should have checked that properly, shouldn't I? Because, uh, yeah. Didn't we take a break at a weird time or something? So I've probably knocked it all out of kilter by doing that.
or get in touch with us on Facebook. Of course, we're always striving to improve our service. Please use the questionnaire we send you by email to give us feedback about your journey. You can also use it to share your suggestions. That's going to irritate me. I don't have time to take a break. Do I need to change lane here? I think we're going to be okay. Yeah, we're okay. We're, we're good. We're good. We're good. Come on, car, overtake us. I want to take this but, uh, lorry. <gasps> Don't let me get too close to lorries. I think the AI's had an overhaul. Actually, I, I just remembered a bit late now, but um, I was going to go through all of the updates over the last, say, month and sort of just discuss how good I think they are. But uh, I completely forgot to do that, so I apologise. Just going to go on what I've noticed. So obviously the map has been improved. The GPS on the dash has been improved slightly. Um, rest stops are now more prominent. And not only are they more prominent, they're also on the map. Uh, roadworks are on the map, so you can sort of kind of circumnavigate them. But uh, it would be great if we could add waypoints. Uh, that would be really, really, really handy. I'm sure it will come. I'm sure it will come. I probably should have taken a break there. I mean, that was a perfect opportunity. But uh, whilst it's quiet and it's dark and it's at night, um, it just feels like a sensible time to try and catch up some of that time that we've lost uh, we are trying to regain 40 minutes of driving somehow and being able to go flat out and not worry about traffic too much is is good incidentally you'll notice there's a lot less traffic um, on the road today and I think last week when I dropped the that's a really bad place for that message to come up uh, last week I dropped the um, the amount of traffic to try and boost the FPS not that I was having problems with FPS but just to see how effective uh, that would be but uh, I don't think you can do it in game although the option is there I don't think it actually activates in game it certainly didn't seem to make any difference but today there's hardly any uh, there's hardly any traffic about so I mean it could just be that it's night time it could be that of course uh, yeah we're gonna take a rest at the next opportunity I promise we could just pull up into this um, forest and take a nap there if you if you're really desperate also uh, the some of you may have seen the uh, the mod creation that uh, I did with Timo uh, last week. Did mention at the end of that video that uh, there was an issue during the bake, and unfortunately, unfortunately, guys, that issue broke the uh, broke that mod. So I'm going to have to rebuild probably all of the Wilhelm Shaven bypass but I tell you what um, it, it the tool is so good and so easy to use that in no way do I think that's going to be a problem it's going to take a screenshot then failed to do it you're gonna to have to stay there buddy because I'm going I do think the AI has had a decent tweak. It certainly seems to be behaving far more, uh, far more considerately, I'd say. And it's interesting because now I'm driving around these roads and I know how they're put together. You start, you start looking at it differently. You start looking at the 
possibilities what could I add here what could I what could I tweak here or when you go past uh, like occasionally you'll find foliage on the ground and um, oh, I wish I could put full beam on I should have bound my buttons before I started I forgot completely to do that so I'm just gonna have to suffer um, yeah you can you, you sort of start mentally making notes and saying to yourself I'll, I'll just I'll nip in and I'll tidy up that bit of tree that's hanging over onto the road there or that bush that's in the wrong place do you know what I mean it's ooh, that was glitchy and that is a tight corner it's really cool to have the power and the opportunity to fix these things yourself you know because I know some people especially get really annoyed about a bit of foliage in the in the road I think there's a piece uh, at Frankfurt Airport if memory serves it may have been removed since I last went there which is quite a while ago but uh, it was a bit of an annoyance for me and uh, it's nice to know that I can just go and fix that anytime <laughs> and that'll be done it's so cool and obviously much 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 more is is available as well uh, I've got some great ideas uh, for for modding but uh, like I say I'm, I'm a modder in his complete infancy so um, any modding I do will be fairly basic to start with and probably take quite a long time speaking of taking quite a long time I know a lot of you have asked me to do certain repaints for both the MAN coaches and some for the uh, Skyliner I can only apologize to you guys and just explain that I have so much going on right now that um, I'm just I have zero free time and the only time that I can do those repaints is in my own free time and I just don't have any so that's why I haven't updated some of the old repaints and also um, why I haven't created many or any new ones of late that being said um, you may or may not have noticed on the uh, TML Facebook page that um, I was very kindly attributed with repaint of the month which is I think the first one so I am absolutely honored by that um, I wanted to leave a comment on Facebook just saying how honored I was uh, and how proud I was of, of that but uh, unfortunately I don't have a Facebook account for Sim UK yet uh, and I guess that leads me on to my next point which is you know um, we've got the channel we've got the content um, we seem to be growing in numbers in subscribers which is great hello and welcome to all of the new subscribers um, especially if I haven't already spoken to you and welcomed you uh, then I'd like to say hello and welcome now uh, you guys know I mentioned a few weeks ago that I was trying to take time out this month something over there I'm really intrigued what is that some sort of building maybe a farm I was trying to take time out this month to actually manage to put the website up um, been sort of set back and delayed on that a little bit unfortunately the uh, foundation on which we were going to build was not up to scratch so it's had to be modified and updated oh 60 60 60 60 uh, it had to be modified and updated so uh, yeah kind of haven't made anywhere near the amount of progress I actually wanted to but it's still still got what two weeks two and a half weeks left of this month so I'm going to try and get something up as opposed to the full site which is what the original plan was my gosh are we here already but uh, anyway it's not going to be fully functioning like I hoped and um, you know some other stuff has come up like modding tools has come up and I really wanted to get that mod um, for Wilhelm Shaven uh, the, the sort of the alternate route the B road I want to be able to get that finished and uh, put up on the workshop so you guys can download it and use it yourself 
it's a great route um, both Timo and I are actually really quite pleased with it it turned out far far better than I expected uh, it would bearing in mind that I I didn't know what I was doing when I started kudos to Timo I mean he was a fantastic teacher and uh, kudos to TML who have built the kit that that I was using and it's such a powerful kit you don't need to be particularly um, skilled at modding to be able to pick it up and, and start doing stuff with it it's really good in the coming weeks and months I am going to try and put a tutorial together for you guys so if you're interested in making some mods for Fernbus yourself then hopefully that will serve you well but to be fair to you and to be fair to me um, until I really feel like I know what I'm doing I'm gonna hold off on that tutorial but uh, hopefully that mod will be up soon so here we are guys unbelievably that seemed to go without any kind of issue at all and really quickly so we're at Celine that's the end of today's episode a proper quick one uh, next week it's going to be the long one all the way down to Potsdam let's just uh, take a look here did we catch any time up so we're due to leave here yeah bloody hell we've made all that time up unfortunately we're gonna to have to take a 15 minute break uh, at the beginning of the next episode but the good news is we should if oh, if we have a nice run like this we should be in Potsdam at 0523 in fact I'm thinking we'll be closer to 4 a.m half past four maybe so uh thanks for watching today i hope you've enjoyed this uh, video and i look forward to meeting up with you next week take care of yourselves goodbye for now